Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar, and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, we are going to be reacting to another Victoria's Secret fashion show, but this time from the year 2013. Now recently, Victoria's Secret has announced that in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, they will be closing 25% of their American US stores. Now, in reality, the company was kind of going on a little bit of a downward trajectory anyway, but I think we've seen a bit of a retail apocalypse since the coronavirus and the lack of people being able to go out safely and shop and such. But it doesn't mean that the Victoria's Secret fashion show has not happened, it wasn't influential. Influential, and I kind of know nothing about them except for the 2018 one, which I did a reaction to years ago. So I thought, listen, we have nothing but time on our hands. So let's look at an old Victoria's Secret fashion show. This one was held in London, I believe, and I'm pretty positive Fall Out Boy and Taylor Swift were part of it as well. Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this Corona t-shirt, I mean, listen, this is the best thing that exists in my wardrobe currently, and I will not not wear it in the midst of this aptly named pandemic. Now, for those of you wondering about my makeup look today, you're probably thinking, Luke, what is this beautiful red eyeshadow on your eyelids? It's my favorite color. It's called Allergic Reaction. Now you know. All right, let's begin watching this Victoria's Secret fashion show. Oh, I always forget to turn the sound on. Ten count to the BS into Oh the girls, the girls, the girls. The Hattie. Doubtson is here. Doubtson. Who else is there? Oh, the marching men. Adriana. I have Ali with me. Alessandra. I'm gonna do a British accent for all the girls. Lindsay. Oh, and Lily, who I called Irina Shunk the other day. Sorry about that. Elsa oh, Elsa Husk. Oh, Carly's doing a mascara. And Candice, of course, Swanepoel. Oh, they're kissing in there, blowing in there, making their hearts. It's very Victor. Oh, Taylor Swift is here as well in the Union Jack, representing my country. And Fallout Boy in a little bit smart and tart. And Awesome. So American. I don't know what that is. A great big world. The girls are looking a little bit punky. Neon Jungle. Don't know who they are either. I like the marching bands. I really do. I'll be honest, I'm not a big Fall Out Boy stan. I'll put it out there. Oh, Candace in a little bit of a crown jewel lingerie bra and panty set. Maybe that's a reference to the famous British crown jewels. <sighs> Who's behind her in this little military tailored look? Oh, with a wing, with a wing, with a gold crescendo on the black wing, with the military coat and the red. I like it, I'm here for it. I like when the Victoria's Secret fashion shows actually like hit the theme. It has to be about the theme. We're in London, give me British. Here we're getting a little bit of a tailored bowler hat and umbrella with some lingerie, a little bit of a, what is the technical term for that? Insert there. Bam, now you know. Oh, Cara Delevingne was still like so popular. And she looks good in this football outfit because it's not soccer. It's football in the UK. Oh, and T Swizzle, she's out here, an American. Don't like the outfit, but okay. They should have had like Vivian Westwood just make the outfit for her. I would have respected that. I mean, I'll give her points for the Union Jack Fascinator because that's very British. They love a little tiny hat. Ooh, 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 this motocross moment. I like this. This is hot. Bring me to the finish line, mom. I'm here, I'm living, I wanna be her, I wanna be a part of her. Who is she? Oh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan's giving me a little red tailored peplum moment. And she's horse riding. Smack that horse's bum. Ooh. Who is this giving me psychedelics? Carly? Carly's giving me 1960s youth quake psychedelics, doing a lot of drugs. I like it, Carly. I like it. I'm here for it. 
I'm bare. Oh, I like the heads. That's a cool wing. I like an interesting wing. A design that Victoria's Secret Angel wing is hot. Oh, 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 these, this is like a cutaway coat, but it's based on these old, not this uh, cop look, forget that. Adriana Lima is wearing this old sort of like, it has a name, it's a type of style that these British people wear. It's like all sort of crazy and bedazzled and bejazzled as they would say. Oh, I like this little raincoat moment, very referential of the UK. It's always raining there. Oh, I don't like that. Whatever that leopard hot mess is. I get it's referencing rock and roll and British music scene, great. Don't like it. Ooh, smart and tartan wings. Lily is selling me punk. She's selling me punk in the tartans and the leathers and the studs. Punk was an imperative part of British fashion subculture, so I like that they're referencing it. Oh, she said, let me swing my Union Jack skirt all around. I'm so drama. I'm doing the Victoria's Super Fashion Show. Like, still basic tea swizzle at this point. I don't know if she's left the basic arena yet. I think she's still there, but, you know. Tui Chazon. I got Bihati. Oh, I got Bihati. I love the way they do these, like, Super Bowl commentator like narratives. I see Bahati. I have eyes on Candace. Oh, 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 Taylor's making a run for it. Oh, this is like the background info. Up and down fake runways my whole life, I think. <laughs> the first time I was introduced to a fashion show, I was like four years old. Yeah, so was I. Was to walk in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Coming from- Adriana. Is Huge. I just wanted to be one of those girls, you know, and wanted to be part of this incredible Alessandra, Carl. Carl. Of being in the Victoria's Secret fashion show and had no comprehension of what was ahead. I was young and insecure and very scared. The first thing I insecure did. Insecure looking like that. Secret was the fashion show casting. Hi. I wish. A lot of people ask us, what do you look for when you're casting? For us, it's very, very important. Oh, oh, that's Ed Razik. Now, see that man with the silver hair? That man with the silver hair, his name is Ed Razik. Now, some of you may remember, Ed Razik is in fact the man that made those homophobic, or not homophobic, transphobic and fatphobic comments, which got Victoria's Secret in a heap load of trouble. I also believe allegedly he was accused of some sexual misconduct. So keep that in mind when they show Ed Razik on the screen like he's some great human being to love and, you know, ooze and awe after. I don't think so. I don't think he is that kind of girl. Enthusiastic and always positive and always happy. This gorgeous, healthy woman. I had never been more nervous in my entire life. If you could mix jello and this cement block together, <laughs> that is how my legs felt. Slow down, slow down. This is a real opportunity Ew. to become a big- Ed Razik, don't tell Lily Aldridge to slow down, okay? Okay? Star, I was so young. It was just mind blowing for me that I'd booked the show and that I was there. I saw Heidi, I saw Leticia, I saw Stephanie. Tara Banks, Giselle, Adriana. I have to say, like, I feel like every year they do the, oh God, when I was pictured to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, it was a big moment, it's a big deal in my life. Oh my God, I've never been so excited and happy and joyful. And I get it, it's great, that's amazing. But also like saying that every year loses just a little bit of, you know, the aura and the excitement and the craziness. Like we get it, it's a big deal, I understand. I know you understand, you know I understand. We all are understanding. But we don't have to talk about it every year, you know what I mean? my first time doing the VS fashion show that changed my entire career. It definitely puts you in the next level. That's what really got me out into the whole entire world. The years went by so fast. I wish I could slow down. I still don't know how it happened, but here I am. I made it. I'm just me. one I made girl. it. Ladies okay, what's up next? What's next? An ad. An ad is next. Henry, come here. Everybody wants to say hi to you. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Shipwrecked me. Isn't that also the name of a very famous Alexander McQueen collection? 
I believe, which may be because he's British and Victoria's Secret is in London, you know. I'm just trying to draw parallels here. Oh God, I hate these songs. I hate the slow songs on the piano and they're all like, oh, love, oh, don't leave me. Please, just leave him. Okay, okay, we're getting a fashion, a fashion show. Ooh, 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 I like this. I like this wing. I like when they do the crazy wings. It actually, weirdly enough, reminds me of a lot of Alexander McQueen's work. You probably will note throughout his work, he used to put deer antlers on models' heads and would like drape fabric over them. So maybe that's what this is a reference to and I like it and I'm here for it. I don't like whatever this fringy moment is. Like, I wanna like it. I wanna, I wanna enjoy her, but I can't enjoy her. I just think it looks a little bit tackle. Say something, don't leave the oh, she said, I am Adriana. Oh, I like this. Whatever this chiffon is, is hot and sexy and ethereal. It's beautiful. It's stunning. The outfit attached, not so much. Okay, also if we're shipwrecked, aren't we meant to be a little bit more like crashed and bashed? You know what I mean? Like the waves and the rocks. Mm, no offense, not the most pleasant experience from what I understand, but again, who am I? I don't know, I've never drowned on a big ship before. I don't know what that is, I don't like it, I want nothing to do with it. Oh, Carl, Carl looks good, I like her little mini wings. Yeah, I like that, like drift, oh, it's driftwood. Okay, I see what they've done here. Smart, Victoria's Secret fashion show. Oh, her wing is jacked up. Somebody, it's like a butterfly got in a bar fight. She's just done, she's toast, she's out of the competition of life. That is awful, that's just terrible, throw that away. That, like, you know what I mean? Like, you could have done something better with that. Shipwreck, there's a lot of themes to go through. Again, here, it's just like too pretty. If you're gonna do shipwrecks, I expect like death and sadness and rips and tatters. That's what I expect. I like a theme, and I like when you stick to a theme, Victoria's Secret, that is awful too. The bodice. I like the attached train. It's very Alexander McQueen, Kate Moss, hologram. But again, hate, hate the lingerie attached. Me kissing the girls. Ooh, I don't like that macrame wing. Moment. She is scary. I don't like her. Mm -mm. No, no. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I'm giving up on you. Finale look of the shipwreck section of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Well, thank God that's over. What's next? What talking section is next? I can't wait to listen to people talk. I'm so excited. Me. <laughs> Me when I'm done with this video. Copy that. Nick, go. Release Lily and go home. Release Lily. Going into shit, right? Hey, guys. Wings coming to you. Wings coming to you. Oh, God. I don't know how it feels to be stuck on a deserted island. I would Shut love it. Shut up, I, I hate, hate this. It. I love the beach, I love the ocean. These models, I'm really sorry, are all very intelligent, smart, businesswomen, philanthropists, like social media moguls. The questions that we're gonna be asking is, what would you do if you were stuck on a deserted island? Like, they're smarter than that. So if I recognize they're smarter than that, why can't Victoria's Secret recognize they're smarter than that? Do something more interesting. Make them read Moby Dick or something. Old man in the sea. Uh, I don't know, right. something. I would bring my phone, a uh, surfboard, a barbecue, a knife, a really a knife. strong Okay, Adriana. And obviously we need Wi-Fi. <laughs> a satellite telephone. My kids and my family. A you want drink. your kids and your family to suffer be the with a knife? Adriana, come fire. on. Okay, From Africa. I can't watch them try to make a fire, we're done. But let's get to the next <laughs> section. What's this part? Oh, this is the looks. The looks model is the model that we use to try on the fashion Monica outfits. Monica Mitro. Looks models become big Victoria's Secret stars. 
We've had Ali, Lindsay, and Candace. I got to try every single outfit. Trying on jewelry and feathers. I was blown away by the ideas. I can't believe you guys still have ideas left. I mean, listen, towards the end, I don't think they had too many, but okay. So good, I like it. Oh, the disco outfit. Being disco a disco ball is actually a very difficult job because you're a human man okay. and you're being picked and poked, and they're literally Ooh, making did the they go to like on you. Hey, Beth. Japan Barbara Fiello, who's been the looks model for the past couple of years, she is so enthusiastic one year. about oh, one year did they go to Japan? She inspires or us and she really gets the whole team in a great mood, and it's so important. For I want Monica to step it up a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah. Barbara. The first show last year was amazing. Since the last show, so much has changed. I did my first major cosmetic campaign. I've done a lot of work for Givenchy. Everything oh. has come to a, a different level. We chose an outfit for you. You did? We think you're going to like it. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. a bit boring. <laughs> but okay. Let's Where see. Let's see. Going? I don't know what the next theme is. I wish they also talked a bit more about like how they actually come up with the ideas and the design process and stuff like that. But that's just me. I expect a lot from these people apparently. Stand by Adriana. Music, track five projections, blind 55, lampposts in two. All right, what's this theme? Adriana. Parisian night. Oh, we are new talking French accent. See who them. Is that okay? Who is singing? This is not a French person. Give me a French song. Adriana said, ah, ha, ha, Red Angel Wings. Hi, how are you? And there's a bunch of hearts which I feel like could possibly be a reference to Eddie Simon's finale YSL collection, which had that beautiful red heart coat. I also like this feather where it like flows out from the heart. Oh, who is wearing a boa? A bahoa, as they say, aka me. Bahoa, it's very important. Adriana looks great. Oh God, I love a bahoa. I love a bahoa. I am a bahoa. I don't like the outfit with the bahoa, but I'll take the bahoa by itself. Forget the lingerie. Oh, I don't like that. That's not very Parisian to me. Like, where's Marie Antoinette? And also, why are we in Paris? We were in London. Like, I understand it's like an hour and a half train ride over from London to Paris, but, you know, we could do Paris later. <sighs> I don't like that. It's very boring, very sad, very depressing. Just a headpiece with some black lingerie. Hmm. I like the wings here, but I don't like the icy blue. I don't think it works. Or the teal. It's up to you, I don't know what color it is, but I love those wings. Very Ursula. Oh, Jordan, that's a bit depressing. I'd want better for her. I want better for all of them because this doesn't really give me much Paris. Oh, that is ugly. That is, that's not even ugly, that's fugly. Fugly. She's fugly. How do you say fugly in French? Fugly. 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 Oh. No, I don't like that either. While we're looking at these bad Victoria's Secret fa- Oh god, that is awful. I don't even know what Cara Delevingne is wearing. Why the gloves? Is she like meant to be a 1950s housewife? I'm confused. Okay, back to my point. I don't really care about this. Um, I learned how to say good afternoon in French the other day. Bon après-midi. Learn something new every day here on Hot La Mode, you know what I mean? Yeah, Cara, that's a bit depressing. They should have put her in like tweet or something. Chanel, like reference the great French designers of the world. Oh, I don't like that either, that's awful. Poor Alessandra. What, what's with the fringe? Like, I've never heard of a French person in fringe in my life. It's, it's, no. I don't believe it. I really, truly don't believe it. 
Like, where's the Marie Antoinette reference? Where's, you know, the famous designers like Dior and Mugler and Lacroix, like Coco and the girls? Where are the girls? But no, we got boring black. Oh, she, oh what, she got an Eiffel Tower in her head and the, uh, that's French to me? Please. The dramatics of it all. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? I do like when they make them run around backstage. But I feel like it's only really like the big girls in the terms of like the celebrity status girls that run around a lot. Commercial in Paris. It felt like Ooh, that's hot. Such a different way to see the lingerie and see us. Well, night is we slept all day. the time that you, you usually wear lingerie, day, right? And then shoot all through the night asleep. I would hope that you'd be shooting a lot of stuff at night. 6 a.m. We're shooting right in front of the Champs Elysees. I, year oh God, Carly looks great. Love that. Um, I have to say years ago when I did my first video, I said their bodies look insane. And it was a very big point of contention for a lot of people that watched my Victoria's Secret reaction. When I say their bodies are insane, it's like a compliment because it's like, I could never look like that. So their bodies are insane to me because that will never happen. You know what I mean? It's not like an insult. And I understand, honestly, that these women work very, very hard. I think a lot of people probably don't give them the credit, myself included, that they deserve. They work incredibly hard. They work out probably, I don't know, seven days a week. Sometimes I've heard multiple times a day, seven days a week. They have to restrict their diets in order to not be eating things that are crazy or that will, you know, put on unwanted things. There's a lot of work that goes into this and I respect that. So I just wanted to make that clear while they're talking and while I'm talking like over them. Um, I understand the irony of that. But let's get to the part where they go to the next fashion section, because that's what I care about. Ooh, Birds of Paradise. I like this. This seems like fun. I could be into that. You want to know a really fun story? In London, in Hyde Park, which is like the Central Park of London, there are parrots that escaped from the zoo years ago and one time a parrot like came up to me and like was swiveling in my face in Hyde Park and that's my British reference to birds of paradise. Now you know. You're welcome. Look it up. Google it. It's a thing. It was really scary and confusing at the time. But, okay, Lace is wearing this bolero of feathers and I love it. It is sexy. It is hot. It is giving me Shoulders, it is giving me multiple shoulders layered on top of shoulders of feathers. I'm here for it. I just don't like the lingerie because it's pink. Like why not do the yellow or that green? You know what I mean? Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's, that's scary. I don't like that. It's like a scary turkey. Mm, I'm not into that one at all. I think they could do a lot better with these Birds of Paradise feathers and we're only two looks into it. I don't like this pink either. Three looks in and I'm still disappointed. I just feel like there could be such great explosions of feathers, all different kinds, all different kinds of different animal feathers. It's a thing, I'm sure. Meh. Like it's okay, but it's not amazing. You know what I mean? I'm like expecting better. Okay, I like this one, sort of the purple, which is nice. I'm into it. Ooh, peacock. See, this is what I mean. Give me more variety. I love that. Ooh, I love that. I like it, but I want the underwear to match. You know what I mean? Here, this is a great example, underwear matching. I like it. I like this little collar piece in this teal and red. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. Oh, love those boleros. They are so hot. And see, they intertwine the blue into the wings. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It's so, I want one of those boleros. Make feather boleros a thing for 2021. 2020 is already canceled, so we're just going to wait till 2021. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Nah, a bit plumage plumage, in my opinion. Victoria's Secret's not a person, so she can't talk. Oh, I don't like, I, I like the, mm, I like the colors. I don't really like the style. Again, a bit boring, but the colors are okay. 
because it doesn't always have to be bright and pink and you know frothy and beautiful and pretty and girly. It can it could range in variety of styles, in my opinion. Oh, is it done? That was it. Oh, okay. All right, let's move on to the next section. Pink Network. I think it's like emoji based, I assume. And Neon Jungle is performing. Was Neon Jungle really popular in 2013? Because I don't remember that. Ed Razzik is a mess. Oh, I don't like those emoji pants. I like this wing. It's not even really a wing, but it's like the heart with the sparkle emoji, which I do enjoy using. I don't like the outfits, but I like the inflatable. Oh, I don't like that either. It's very cheesy and emojis are hard to not make cheesy. But I think it's because the aesthetic associated with emojis is so bad, but I don't think it has to be that way. Like we could have got a big old eggplant. That's awful, I hate that. Oh God, that was like really a style. This like mashed up hot mess, bright in your face, print fabric, graphic aesthetic in 2013. Oh God, that is awful. I would have, I would have not walked the show if they tried to force me to do a one-sided emoji overall. Ooh, that's all. Mm -mm. No, with a sweatshirt? No. Yeah, where are all of these emoji things? I like these. I think they're interesting. I'm not, I don't like this backpack smiley face emoji with weird eyelashes, but you know, we could have done a bunch of different cool ones. Elsa looks good. Pink girls rule the world. I hope somebody paid Beyonce her royalties. Oh, I like the winking of this little emoji thing. That was interesting. Oh God. Uh, I don't like whatever that is. That's a hot mess. That's what I mean. It could just get so tacky that I don't love it at all. The piano and the rainbow and the ooh. Oh God, what is that hot mess metal framework disaster? And also again, like I just want to put it out there. Like these women are not like just pretty ha ha he 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 so so you know what i mean like they're actually interesting human beings that do a lot and omg i wish that we were you know having a little bit of a better outfit experience in the midst of the pink network section urban jungle had me you know sort of bopping but maybe this is the pink victoria's secret so it's more of like the younger demographic which I also understand if that's what they were trying to get into and go to and interact with. Taylor's on the show. <laughs> She's, She's amazingly talented and so gorgeous. Taylor oh, Taylor Swift American section. Like Carly and Taylor are like besties or were besties or like we're close yeah. friends. We were like the girl gang. Bye. Taylor's entrance, right stand by, they said. We have Taylor. Where is she? I want her in a wing. Give Taylor Swift an angel wing. I want that. I want to see that. Snow angels. Oh, I like these wings. I like them. It's like an avalanche of wings. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I like that throw up. Adam Levine said, oh yes, I love her. Oh God. Oh, is it snowing? It's snowing. I like that it's snowing. Okay, Victoria's Secret. Oh, I love this. I could do this. Ooh. Is that Carl? Carl? What are you doing over there? Your sex little cheer body suit. She could wear that to dinner with the Kushners, if you know what I mean. Aha! Um, I do like it though. I like her with the brown hair too. It's very nice. Ooh, Carly. I don't know what that is. It's giving me 3D printing a little bit. 3D printed vibes, which I like, I'm here for, I'm interested in, but a little bit basic, a little bit Elsa Frozen, but you know, from Alibaba. Oh, I don't like that. I like the wings. I don't like all the baubles and pearls encrusted on it. And I like the train, but I love the shape of those wings. It's beautiful. That's a bit black in my opinion. Just saying. 
like the color of those wings. I like it. I'm liking it. Oh, I don't like the bodice, but I love the wings. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I like the shape of the wings, but whatever the feather explosion is coming out of her vag, I don't like that. That they could keep, keep that at home. That's like a venereal disease probably or something. They need to fix it. They need to find a cure. Oh, I like this little jacket. She is hot. She is sexy. I don't like that. It's like a weird, like, winter poppy flower. Ooh, she's giving me snood, hood, and cuffs experience, and I like it. I'm here for it. Oh, God. I like these wings, too. I do like the dramatics of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Like, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's really bad, though. I don't like the bodice. That's awful. But the wings are so great and so beautiful and fantastic. I even like this cape. Whatever this cape, oh yeah, oh yeah, serve it to me. The thing is, they have fun on the runway. I think that's what we're missing from so many fashion shows, is fun on the runway. It's just not there anymore, which is so disappointing. And I feel like the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is like, hey, you could do it this way, and people would actually watch it and enjoy it, but we don't really have that anymore. Okay, Taylor Swift. All right, who's next? Oh, is it over? Jesus, that was fast. What was that, only like four sections, four or five? You had what? The first part, Shipwreck, Parisian, Pink Network. Valentino! There's Valentino on the screen. He's like, hi, you know who that is? That's Valentino of like Valentino. That's Valentino, yeah, now you know. Oh, good for the girls in their little Victoria's Secret fashion show moment. I'm happy for them. I never thought I would enjoy this, but I feel like if I watched it as a small gay child, I probably would have lived. I just didn't care enough at that point in my life. So maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I'm into this. Let me come touch, touch. Oh, that was great. How fun was that, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show? And with that, that is the end of the video. Please let me know if you guys want me to react to more Victoria's Secret Fashion Shows. I can, I will. Again, nothing better to do. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you on the next one and TTYL.